Hey guys, welcome back to Nexus Core for another deck profile. I'm Richard, and today I'm going to be showing you my premium Royal Paladin deck profile, which is updated with all the new uh, VBTO3 Miyagi Academy Card Fight Club stuff. So let's just get started. Our starter is going to be a Guidepost Sage Elrond. Uh, Guidepost Sage Elrond is still the best starter for this deck. Uh, I wish it were Barkle, but Elrond is the better starter. So Elrond's skill is 4-runner, so uh, after you ride it, you can call it to rear. And then the other skill is you counterblast and you put it into your soul, and then you can search your deck for up to any grade 2 or lower card as long as you have uh, an Alfred Vanguard. And it can't be named Elrond, but you know, you're only running run, so it's fine. And you have to call it to an open rear guard circle, so then you shuffle your deck afterwards. So yeah, so basically you're calling out your grade twos are basically how the deck flows. So having Elrond available right from the get-go, especially since it's not a GB restricted skill, you can use it right away. So uh, ideal starter for the deck. So for grade threes, here we go. We are running three copies of Monarch Sanctuary Alfred. So Monarch Sanctuary Alfred is of course the new card. Uh, retrain of Liberator Monarch Sanctuary Alfred. The skill is all of your Blast Blade rear guards continuous on rear or guard circle get plus 10k power and plus 5 shield. So defensively it's good. Offensively you're going to want that power if you can't be on your G unit. Uh, the 10k works defensively too, so it's pretty nice. Uh, the skill is when it's placed, counter blast 1, soul blast 1, return a blaster blade uh, from your drop zone um, to your hand. And until the end of the turn, this unit gets 15k. And then afterwards, if you have an Alfred uh, card in your soul, this gets a crit. So yes, you would want to ride this on top of an Alfred. Uh, but uh, you still get the 15k even if you don't uh, search out Blaster Blade. Um, it's just, you know, you kind of can find it on the way. Uh, but the, uh, the crit is required if you, you know, the Alfred is required if you want the crit. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty decent card running three of that. So, grade 3 lineup is a little strange. So next we're running two copies of King of Knights Alfred, and then two copies of Alfred Early. So why 2-2 two and two instead of not a playset? So I like Alfred Early as my first ride target if Blaster Blade is in my soul, which is pretty, uh, which happens a lot actually. So I uh, ride Alfred Early, pull out the Blaster Blade, it gets 10k. So I like that 10k. Um, that it'll get, and I also like how I, if I ride Monarch Alfred first, um, you know, it's kind of like the same thing as riding an Alfred early, um, and but at least I won't have to waste the the you know the Monarch Alfred. Also, the Blast Blade will keep the 10k uh, if I stride, so that's why Alfred early is really good. I like King of Knights as well, just because um, I like to use it if I don't have <clears throat> a Blaster Blade Vanguard or Blast Blade in my soul. I can ride King of Knights Alfred to search out Blaster Blade within the deck, and then I can use maybe Tarna to fish out um, Monarch Alfred after that. Uh, and I do like that he gains 10k on his own, so he's still good if I'm going first and I can't stride yet. So I like the mix max, mish mash or whatever word for mixing cards, and uh, I still have access to Tarna to uh, switch around between them, and they're also still all good ride targets, so. Afterwards, if I have a Blaster Blade in my hand from Monarch Sync, from Monarch Alfred skill, I can ride Alfred early, uh, you know, call the one from my hand to get off the skill to draw a card, and it gains another more power, 10k. So Alfred early really helps with that power that you want to give the Blaster Blade when you're pushing for the turn. And then King of Knights is there if you need to fish it out from your deck. So yeah. And lastly, for grade threes, one copy of Solitary Knight Gancelot which is my fun tech. Uh, if you don't want to run this, uh, I would say run an additional Alfred Early, basically. And so, Solitary Knight Gancelot's skill is Counter Blast 2. If, this, if you have a Blaster Blade in your soul that gets 5k and a crit, never gonna use it. Other skill, Act, Hand. Reveal this card to your opponent, put it on top of your deck. Search your deck for up to one card named Blaster Blade. Reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle. So this is basically like a fifth Blaster Blade, kinda. So if you're doing your opening hand and you got everything except Blaster Blade, but you draw into Gancelot, 
This is basically Blaster Blade. You just ride your grade one, use the skills, search for Blaster Blade. Uh, you can also use it uh, during the main phase when you're like, oh, I have everything but Blaster Blade. Hey, I have Gantslot in my hand. Let me just use that and pull out the Blaster Blade from my deck. Um, it's also a grade three, so it's Stride Fodder, and that's pretty much it. Uh, also, Gantslot is my favorite card in this game, aesthetically. So I want to run it in my deck. On to the grade twos. We are running four copies of Blaster Blade because we want to win. So Blaster Blade is a Vanguard Circle. If you have four or more rearguards, gets a crit. Uh, it's pretty rare when that happens in this deck, so don't count on it. The other skills, when it's placed, count plus one, so plus one. Choose one of your opponent's rearguards in the front row and retire it. So you can use it to get rid of Interceptors, and it's Blaster Blade, and this whole deck revolves around this card, so you want to run four copies of that. Next up, we are running four copies of Swordsman of Light, Blaster Javelin, LaRouche. It is a grade two with Blaster in its name, uh, and he pulls out Flogals. So his skill is choose two cards from your hand, put them in your soul. When this is placed on rear, if you have a Vanguard Alfred in its name, you pay the cost, and then you search out for two High Beasts from your deck, call them the separate open rearguard circles. So your targets are basically going to be Flogal and Packle. So Flogal restands your Blaster Blade, Packle gives you Counter Charge. You, run one, you want to run four copies because you're basically going to be using Javelin almost every turn, or at least as much as you possibly can. And it's a really good card, and it's not GB restricted, and all of your grade 3 vanguards are Alfred, so really good card. Um, next up, we are running four copies of Favorite Pupil of Light and Dark, Lou. So the reason we're bringing this card back is because uh, Lou can call out any grade 2 blaster. You know what is a grade 2 blaster? LaRouche, and of course Blaster Blade. So this helps you call out the other two targets in your deck, so helping you, you know, kind of control what you're calling. And it needs to be boosted by Flogal or Barkle, but we don't have Barkle in this deck because we don't need it. So loose skill, if you don't know already, is when this unit is boosted by Blaster Friend Barkle or Floral Paladin Flogal, this gets 3k and auto red tax. At the end of the battle that this unit attacked a vanguard, you may counter blast one, put it into your soul. If you do, search your deck for up to one grade two card with Blaster in its name, call it to rear, then shuffle your deck. And until the end of the until the end of the turn, that unit gains 3k. So you call a blast blade, it becomes 13k. Call a LaRouche, 12k. Um and that's pretty much it. So really, really good card, and you want to run it because that's how you're gonna pull out LaRouche during your battle phase and get out two more floatables. Lastly for grade twos, the one tarna. The reason we use the one tarna is because um I use it pretty rarely after the first use and we already have Elrond to search it out and if it does get damaged I'm not too worried about using it um, you know I could I can just rewrite if I get another Alfred in my hand to get more force markers but the main point is uh, that I want to be able to get multiple force markers on the Blaster Blade really early so uh, but the one Tarnit works fine since I want to use the Luz to um, Search out LaRouche, which helps restand my Blaster Blade to attack again. So I kind of the way I figured it basically instead of running more Tarnas for power, I'm running LaRouche to get Flogals to restand, which is essentially the same process. Before I get into grade ones, uh, since this is a premium deck, I will talk about Bobo real quick. So um, this deck, of course, is assuming I'm not playing against Gize, but if you are going to play against Gize, the way I would do it is I would take out one LaRouche and to lose or the Tarna if you really don't want to use the Tarna but um, or you could tone it down you know you could do one Bobo and do one of each so it really depends on how much Gize scares you when you're playing against uh, premium OTT or Angel Feather so that's the way I would do it if you want to run Bobo but it's up to you. Uh, Bobo's skill I'll just read it is um, GB1 when it's placed on rear guard if the number of cards in your damage zone is three or less, you counter charge, soul charge, and you choose your Vanguard, deal one damage to it. So the reason you run this when you're playing against Geese is because your Geese opponent will deny you counter blast. They'll just attack your rear guards the whole game until they can, you know, do the skill and, and kill you for five damage. So you want to run Bobo because you need counter blast to do your skills, uh, like with Flogal and Lou and stuff. So um, you want to be able to call this out while you're at GB1 
to give yourself damage, to give yourself counterblast to do skills. All right, that was it. So, on to grade ones. We're getting four copies of Laurel Knight Sicilis. So Sicilis is your stride fodder. So, you know, when it's placed on rear from hand, you can reveal a grade three search for all mile and then discard a card. Uh, continuous, when it's in your hand, when you're playing for cost, for stride, gets grade plus two. So we're rewriting our grade threes a lot. You have Tarna, which makes you ride your grade threes. Uh, and also you want to stride as much as possible because even though uh, premium is a little more carefree than how G format was, you still pretty much need to stride every turn. So stride fodder, because we want to stride. Next up for grade ones, I'm running four copies of Pack Goal because you really want to counter charge in this deck a lot. And it's basically your only other target that you want to call with um, with um, LaRouche. And the other, I don't run Blaster Friend Barkle even though it works with Lou because um, the only main thing with Barkle is the counter charge in my opinion. And the, the power that it gives to Lou is not the big a deal. But the other thing is because um, you want to be able to call to open rears and you want to call over units you don't really care about. So once you call on top of pop, once you call Packle, it's skills done. So you can call on, you can call like Blaster Blade on top of it to clear up your board because LaRouche only calls to open rear guard circles. So you don't want your board filled up with stuff so that you can call out your Flogals during the battle phase. So I like to run four Packle because I want to see them uh, and I want to see them multiple times throughout the game. And, um, I, I usually end up, all my green ones are usually called out by LaRouche anyways, for the most part. Or they're discarded for fodder. So lastly for the green ones, it is three copies of Maiden of Divine Spring, Lian, and the one PG from the trial deck, Strong Knight, Rongnoria. So uh, reason for this obviously is because um, Marin, G-Unit, Great Sage Marin is in the deck. So, yeah, like I said, my grade ones are basically just discarded or, like, just called by a skill, so I'm not really worried about <laughs> what else I'm going to be playing. So, Lian's skill is Sentinel. Uh, when it's placed on Guard Circle uh, from hand, you may Soul Blast 1, and you choose one of your grade 3 units with Alfred or Blaster in its name, and it can't be attacked to the end of battle. So, instead of a discard, you Soul Blast, and it has to be a grade 3 uh, unit. And since everything's going to be Alfred, it works out. Uh, this is just your uh, casual, normal, perfect guard. It's when it's placed onto the guardian circle, you discard a card from your hand, and one of your units cannot be hit till the end of the battle. So you use Great Sage Marin to pull this out if you're playing against something like, uh, I don't know, Drag Strider Luard, I guess. Or if you're playing against, uh, I don't know, what else guard restricts, I guess. Well, since we're running grade 1 PGs, uh, Helios would be a big deal, I guess, if I can't PG. So having access to Great Sage Marin, if it's like, I really need to stop this attack, uh, drop a heal trigger, and then we'll drop an additional card to get the PG off. So uh, it's an emergency target for the most part, so it doesn't hurt to run it. So I'm running, running it as attack. All right, that was it for grade 1s. On to our triggers. Four copies of Floral Palette and Flogel. Uh, you you want to restand Blaster Blade, and you want car, call targets for uh, LaRouche, Blaster Javelin. Uh, if one of these gets put in your damage zone, you're still fine, because you're going to be using all three in the battle phase anyways. So I want to run four, because I want to see at least three each turn, for the most part. And then it's also a target for uh, Lou, as a boost target. And it's just a really good trigger. It's probably one of the best triggers in the game. So run four of it. It's not GB restricted either, and it's a crit. Um, my other triggers are V triggers, so four Epona and uh, four Flogals. So we're running 12 crits because uh, you want to crit add all the crits to your Blaster Blade. That's going to be restanding with Floral Palette and Flogal over and over again. So the more you see crits, the more likely you'll win the game. So 12 crits. If you want to throw in Flash Shield Assault and throw in other things for your grade one lineup, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, my deck is just a little more aggro. And lastly, the four heals. You could run the Counter Charge heal, the Remedy Angel, but because uh, I'm running four pack goal, I don't have the Counter Charge issue, 
and I want to have that power. So instead of the 5K, I want the 10K power because I'm already running 5K power trigger, which is flo uh, Floropilot and Flogel. So I want as much uh, increased power triggers as I can. So I'm running the V Nitrosil Maiden Lian. All right, 15 minutes in. Let's go into G Zone real quick. Cancel out Peace Saver, running two copies. Two copies of Cancel out Peace Saver because quad drive. So if you have a Alfred or Blaster Heart, when this attacks, you counter charge one, this gets drive plus one, and if you have one or more cards face up in G zone, he gets a crit. So yeah, that's your first stride. Um, the quad drive helps you get more crits to put on blaster blade, and you counter charge, because your deck counter blasts a lot anyways. Uh, the other skill is G zone. When this is face up, during your turn, uh, all your car, all your rear guards with blaster blade in their card name get resist. Uh, so yeah, if it's you're playing against something like I don't know, Denial Griffin, it can't be targeted, yeah. So, first stride, and after your first stride, your Blaster Blades are safe during your turn. Two copies of Aerial Divine Knight Alt Mile. So, uh, go to second stride, it's uh, when you place it, if you have, you flip an Alt Mile, your front row gets 3k, and then if you have two or more face-up cards in your G zone, you search your deck for a grade 2, call it to the rear, and it gets 5k. So, powers up your front row, Searches out grade 2 target, so it's probably going to be LaRouche, Lou, maybe even Blaster Blade. So all your grade 2s are really important in the deck, so you want access to Alt Mile. And, it, you know, the power-up can help you win the game. Two copies of uh, Divine Knight King Alfred Holy Saver. I'm just running, uh, I'm running, I don't really go into this, I'll be honest. Uh, but I am running it because for emergencies, if I only have Blaster Blade and, like, one card in my hand... Uh, I the it's basically quintet drive for the turn, and so and your blast blade get, well yeah your blast blade is getting twin drive so it could help you push for the game so I like it as attack so its skill is once per turn GB two you kind of blast flip this face up from your G zone choose one of your rear guards uh you have, you have to discard a card from your hand too sorry choose one of your rear guards with um blaster blade. And it gets 3k, and during the first battle of its attack, it gains Twin Drive. So you have to have an Alfred or Blaster Blade Heart, or Blaster Heart, so obviously it's going to work. And, you know, I just like it for that extra Drive Checks. You can put on the Blaster Blade, and then you can restand it with Logals. So it's just more, more Drive Checks. And Transmigratory Dragon, Holy Squire Dragon. So this card is really good and expensive on TCG player because it unlocks stuff, which is going to be pretty prevalent since Link Joker just exists. Um, the chances of you playing against Link Joker right now as of today, which is February 22nd of 2019, there is no premium Link Joker deck that is relevant. So... Uh, it's there just for the spooky Ugu Booga uh, Freeze Ray Geese deck or whatever you might play against that locks your shit. You can just go into uh, Transmigratory Dragon, Holy Squire Dragon, and all your stuff gets unlocked. And um, yeah, and then the other skill is that all your rear guards get 2k, and then GB3, uh, this unit gains 3k for each of your rear guards. So you, you have to have an Alfred Heart for this to get, for you to get the unlocks to begin with. But yeah, Alfred deck works. Yeah, unlocking stuff is cool. Um, one copy of Blazing Sword Fetus. So we're running Fetus because uh, if you don't want to use Counter Blast, you can use this to search out your grade twos. And it's, uh, you know, it's not GB2 like Alt Miles, so you can do it your first stride. If you're playing against Kagero, you can f you flip up... Um, Flip up Gancelot for its cost, so that way your Blaster Blade has resist for the turn, so it doesn't die right away. So I do like it as a tech. I'm not running two fetuses because I, I, I could. I'm, I've only been playing it with the one fetus, and so far it's been fine. If you feel like you want to run a second one, uh, go ahead. So fetus of skills once per turn. Uh, choose any G unit, turn it face up. Uh, and you search your deck for up to one grade two, call it to rear. You have to discard a card as well. And if the card has Brave, you can draw a card. Well, nothing has Brave in this deck, so it's not going to happen. Then GB3, uh, when this attacks, if you have a face-up card in your deck with Blazing Sword, or not in your deck, if you have a face-up card in your G-Zone with Blazing Sword Fetus in its name, choose when your opponent's rear guards retire it, and two of your units gain 5k. 
So the power could help you win that turn if you have another fetus face up in your, in your G zone. For now, I'm only playing it with the one uh, just for like um, flipping up Gancelot and also if I don't want to use Counterblast. If I do want to use Counterblast, I'll most likely go into this instead, which is Holy Dragon Legit Sword. My reason for using Legit Sword instead of a second fetus is because um, I like the immediate power up and I also like not having to discard. Especially when um, calling out pack goal during a turn gets me my counter blast back anyways, so that's fine. Um, so legit sword dragon skills act uh, once per turn. Counter blast one. If you have a heart with Alfred or Blaster in its name, you search your deck for up to one grade two with Swordsman of Light or Blaster in its card name. Call it to rear, and then you shuffle your deck, and that unit gains two K. So your only targets are obviously uh, Blaster Javelin the Rouge and Blaster Blade. So uh, you can't call out Tarna or Lou with this card, but that's what Fetus is for and Alt Mile. But uh, these two are basically what you want to be looking for anyways, especially LaRouche. So if you already pulled out Blaster Blade from using one of the Alfred skills and you want to pull out your Flogals, you can just use Legit Sword, call out LaRouche, and then use LaRouche skill to pull out your, your, uh, your Flogals. So I like having access to Legit Sword. Um, it is a G zone, so you run text for cards for situations. And that is a situation that I like to run that card. All right, on to finishing the last unit, which is GB8, Obvious, Ob, Obvious Avalon. So the skill is GB8, face up cards, uh, eight, cards in your G zone in Vanguard. Counterblast 1, when this attacks, you search your deck for up to, I believe it's five, yes, five cards, call them to separate rearguard circle, they get 4k and this unit gets a crit. So basically, you just set up the ideal combo, swing, this gets a crit, call out stuff, thin your deck for triggers and you win the game most likely that turn because you're going into your GB8. G Guardians, two copies of Maskell. Um, if you have a front row unit, uh, this gets 10k shield. So yeah, running two of that. Uh, two just to accelerate the GB8 because its cost is GB1 and you have to flip, flip into a G Guardian face up. So it can help you get to GB8 faster if that's your goal for that game. Two copies of Little Great Sage Marin. So Marin skills Soul Blast 1 was placed if you have a Vanguard with Alfred or Blaster in its name. You search your deck for up to one uh, grade one or greater card, call it to guard circle and gets plus five shield. So you can search out like things you might not need, like your Tarna late game, maybe a Lou you're not using, or you search out the perfect guard that I mentioned earlier, you know, to immediately stop attack. So being able to search out a perfect guard is nice, and uh, thinning out your deck so you can have triggers is also really good, and you have plenty of soul thanks to LaRouche. And last but not least, Dismal. So Dismal skill is when it's placed, you choose one of your rear guards until the end of the turn. That unit cannot be hit and cannot be chosen by card effects by your opponent's card effects. So it's basically resist and it cannot be attacked. So you plop this down, you pick Blaster Blade, and then they have to attack your Vanguard for the most part, or they pass turn. So yeah. That was pretty much the deck. Real quickly, I know we're already really far into the video, but I'm gonna show you basically what the goal of this deck is to do. So let's do that right now. All right guys, we're back into the same video where we're talking about um, what you're gonna do for your combo. So you got your you got your Alfred Vanguard. You uh, you got your Blaster Blade already there. Let's just, We're just gonna pretend the Blaster Blade is there already. Thing you're gonna be doing, you're gonna immediately just stride right into your Gancelot or whatever G unit you need. Um, you're gonna pull out your LaRouche somehow. Either you're gonna you're, you'll figure it out. You use your G unit skills or your your Elrond or what do you have? Whatever you have access to, that's what you're gonna use. So next, you're gonna pull out. You're gonna use uh, LaRouche's skill to put two cards in from your hand into the soul. So whatever random two cards you got, you're gonna pull out your Flogals, right? Put let's put them put them right there. So we're gonna put them right there. So really, you don't want to call anything else to the third circle. After that, you call in your Lou on top of the, the, the LaRouche, which is very important. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to swing with your Blaster Blade column, right? Then you're going to use your first Counter Blast. Ideally, you're going to have five Counter Blasts by this, hopefully. Uh, 
So you can use the skill, put it back in your deck, right? Restand. You swing with your vanguard. You get your uh, you get your triggers. Hopefully it looks something like this. You know, you just get four crits or whatever. Get at least one crit. Put that on that blaster blade that's got all those force markers, which I don't have right now. Here, let's just let's just put four underneath him. Now let's put two. Ideally, it's probably gonna be like two. So you got your blaster blade that's stacked up with force markers. You give all the the trigger powers there. Next, you swing with your Lou column. Use Lou's skill, counter blast. Move it to soul. Then you call the LaRouche from the deck. You lose, use LaRouche's skill. Those cards you just drive checked, they're going back into your soul. Why? Because you're calling out more Flogals from your deck. And look at that. Now you can use Blaster Blade's uh, attack four times total. So that's a lot of attacks that turn. And if it's got a crit, you're going to be using all of these skills. So that's basically why you're running Lou and Blaster Javelin into this deck. So that's your ideal setup. If your Blast Blade's swinging for pretty high, it's a lot of attacks it's going to be doing. Um, then you can rinse repeat this combo, hopefully every turn after that. So that was the deck profile, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, Monarch, it's kind of like the same deck as I had before. Monarch just helps with the consistency. Uh, I know there are some decks that run K and Bedivere. Um... Still testing that out, but not quite a big fan of that right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm Richard, that was my deck profile, and I'll see you all next time.